Hi guys, welcome back to a new vlog. So today I have come to Hampstead Heath. This is one of the best kept secrets in London and this is also one of the biggest green spaces in London. So come along with me and let's see what all is there to visit at Hampstead Heath. Come. Our first stop is Parliament Hill. Once you walk up to the top of the hill, you can catch a breathtaking view of the London skyline. This hill not only offers stunning views, but also has a fascinating history. During World War II, it served as a vital location for anti-aircraft guns and was heavily fortified to defend against potential air raids. Despite the chilly winds today, this spot is a favourite among locals for picnics and leisurely afternoons. My heart just melted when I saw this beautiful thing. Can you see this old man sitting with his dog, enjoying the beautiful view? So there are 18 ponds in Hampstead Heath and they are like you know only three of them where you can take a bath and since they were made like 100 years back so they are like designated for men and women so there is one for men there is one for women and there is one which everyone can go and take a bath in. While these ponds are now known for their recreational purposes they have a rich history dating back to the 18th century. Originally created as reservoirs to supply water to London, they gradually became popular for swimming and other water activities. Today they are cherished for their natural beauty and provide a tranquil escape from the bustling city life. After crossing all the muds and the muddy land, look at the condition of the shoes. Ah. Show me your shoes. Okay, this, glittery shoes. <laughs> this is still fine. I, sh I told you I should have taken that off. Easy. Right behind me is Kenwood House. It's this huge historic house which is now a museum and has a huge collection of arts and artifacts and is free to enter. Even the outside of Kenwood House is also really beautiful. There's a dairy, a stable and just the garden itself is so beautiful. You'll also find a cafe and toilet right outside the Kenwood House. Besides its impressive art collection, Kenwood House has been a setting for various films and TV shows including Notting Hill and the TV series Downtown Abbey. Its elegant interiors and picturesque surroundings have made it a sought-after location for filmmakers and visitors alike.
Next is Hill Garden and Pergola which was built in the Edwardian time but it got very run down and then recently has been restored by city of London. This enchanting space is a favorite for weddings and events, offering a picturesque backdrop for any occasion. Fun fact, the pergola adorned with intricate detailing and lush greenery spans over 800 feet, making it one of the longest in London. Finally, we arrive at Golders Hill Park, a meticulously landscaped area within the heath. You can also find this cute cafe which serves ice cream, really good coffee and some tidbit snacks. Built in 1899, it boasts a water garden, stable tennis facilities and even a butterfly house. With playgrounds for the little ones, it's a perfect destination for families. Did you know that Golders Hill Park was once part of the private estate of a wealthy merchant named William Hetherington? He transformed the area into a stunning landscape garden, complete with exotic plants and ornamental features. One of its unique attractions is the Golders Hill Park Zoo, home to a delightful array of exotic animals and birds, from playful ring-tailed lemurs to majestic deer and colorful birds. The zoo adds an extra layer of charm to this already enchanting park. It's the perfect spot for families to learn about wildlife conservation while enjoying a leisurely stroll through the park's lush surroundings. This place is like the perfect place to take your kids out on a weekend. You can also find a beautiful park playing area for the kids within the Golders Hill Park. Hampstead Heath is not just a green space, it's a vibrant tapestry of history, nature and community. I highly encourage you to visit and experience its beauty firsthand. And don't forget to let me know in the comments which spot was your favorite. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring. If you like this vlog, please don't forget to show some love. Do like, share and subscribe. I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye-bye.